Okay, so first of all, select all of these cells and then go to home and conditional formatting and data bars and then more rules. Then change the minimum number to zero and the maximum number to one. Because in this case, one is equal to 100% and my numbers are in percentages. Then change the bar color to blue and give it a solid border. Then change the bar direction to right to left and OK. And then we have the first set of bars. Then make the second set of bars by going back to conditional formatting and data bars and more rules. Then again, change the minimum number to zero and the maximum number to one. Then change the bar color to red and give it a solid border. And this time change the bar direction to left to right and OK. And now we have the second set of bars. Then we'll move these numbers into the middle by changing the font alignment to the left and also change the font color to white to make the numbers stand out more. And we'll change the numbers here to white as well and then make everything bold and take the values in the middle and align them to the center. Now select this column here and hold down control and select this column and then adjust the size of the columns so they are both the same size. Now for both sides of this butterfly chart, in the middle, the bars begin at 0% and then they go to 100% on the outside. And because we have made both of these columns exactly the same size, these bars are now in proportion to each other. Now select all of this and change the fill to white to get rid of the grid lines and then select everything and give it a outside border. And we will also give this part here a border and also the titles. Now, if you want to edit the conditional formatting, select the cells and go to conditional formatting and manage rules. Then select the rule that you want to change and edit rule. So for example, if I tick show bar only here, it will make the numbers disappear. And OK, and OK again, and now all those numbers have gone. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to make an in-cell butterfly chart in Excel, and that is everything.